are here again. We are here today. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. We are here again. Oh, we are here again. Mashaya Babara Brahim Darabakuda. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. We are here again. We are here again. Savior, we are here again. Master, come and take control. We are here again. We are here again. Father, come and take control. Holy Ghost, come and take control. We are here again. We are here again. Father, come and take control. Holy Ghost, come and take control. Father, we are here again. Holy Ghost, come and take control. We are here again, O oh Lord. Come and take full control. Come and take full preeminence. My King, my God, my Lord, and my Father. My Master, my Comfort, my Consolation. The Father of our Lord Jesus, the Mighty Man of Allah. The Holy One of Israel, the Gracious Father of all, the Prince of Peace, the Adonai. Take full control and take full preeminence. For we are here again by your power, by your mind. We are here again by the excellence of your greatness and reality. Speak your word and minister the word of life unto us, O Lord. And let that word come forth, O Lord, hear that man, hear that woman. Comfort that man, comfort that woman. Deliver that man, deliver that woman. And let that dignified authority come forth and take control. And let the name of Christ alone be magnified and worship on other Lord. For thou art God, and beside thee there is no Savior. Hallowed be thy name forever and ever. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. The Lord is going to talk to you while you are there in Europe. While you are there in Africa. While you are there in North America, South America, in Australia, in Asia. The Lord will touch you. His grace will touch you wherever you are listening from right now. You will see mercy. You will see favor. You see goodness of the Lord. You will see his miraculous hand. For unto him alone be our glory. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. God bless you. How have their day been? It has been a very busy day for me. It has been a, busy, a very busy day, but God is in control. And God is in charge. Unto him be all the glory forever. I just want to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done. I just want to say thank you, ancient of the days. I just want to say thank you, the great I am that I am. King of kings, God of God, and Lord of Lord. Prince of peace, the beginning and the ending. Hallowed be your name for everything of God. Be thou exalted, O Lord, be thou glorified, and let thy glory be above on the earth. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God is wonderful. I keep thanking him for keeping us alive, for sustaining us. Where we are right now is a war zone. Since Sunday, it has been killing all over. I mean, and uh, these boys are shooting. They're killing. I mean, we'll be walking on the road. If you're passing, bah, they kill the person immediately. You see the kind of killing, even yesterday afternoon at the junction, called popularly known as Banana Junction, bah, a man was just passing the army men, bah, they just killed him immediately. We are in a war zone. Keep praying for us. God is keeping us here by the power of his might. The killings here is so much. Killings. Nearly will a day pass without you hearing two, three, four, five, six, seven persons killed. Sometimes you'll be passing along the road, you see two, three, four people killed. Their bodies there, sometimes they'll kill them and burn, get them burnt. <sighs> because of agitation for Biafra. <sighs> Nobody stops the will of God. Let's have, see how it goes. Let's keep praying for the divine intervention. Anybody looking for freedom will surely receive it one day. As far as you're looking it through God, as far as you know that God is the only one that is going to give you the freedom, he will do it. 
We're not afraid. We're protected by His grace. And we'll keep on moving on by the power of His mind. It is well with the righteous. Yeah, it pleases the Lord that it will happen in our city. To Him be all the glory. We keep praying about it, for He will arise early and quick and show us favor and mercy. To him be other glory, to God be other glory, to our King be all the honor, to God be all the glory, amen. To God be all the glory, to God be all the honor, to God. Be all the glory. Amen. To everyone again, that day you gave your life to Christ was the day you died in Christ. You gave your life, you have said, I died, no matter what happened. And you continue dying daily in Christ. 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 The mighty hand of Jehovah will keep us, protect and preserve us more and more. Hallelujah. We're not afraid of what is happening. For God is with us. We're talking about destiny killers. Destiny killers. Yeah, I've said it before. Some people are still asking me the Potaka program was real. Potaka program was great. Potaka program, God was with us. The Lord caused a revival for himself. People realized their ground and where they are. And they rose up again on their feet. I thank God for Potaka brethren. And uh, for what God has done to him, be all the glory in Jesus' name. We're talking about, thank you so much for your wishes. Amen. The Lord will protect us. Amen. It is a portion. Divine protection and divine intervention is ours in Jesus' name. Amen. I pity the souls that are going to hell without Jesus of Nazareth. I just pity them. Mm. Merciful. Okay. Destiny killers. Some people's destiny have been killed. They are only walking now as a chaff along the road. The destiny has been taken. The destiny has been killed. Sometimes Occultic people will look at the destiny of somebody and tap the destiny. I was praying for one lady one day. No, the lady fell off. Fell off. I said, every, every destiny taken from this girl will restore. Boom! She flew up, fall on the ground, was rolling here, rolling here. And the Lord spoke to me and said, the destiny of this girl is powerful. But out of carelessness, sexual immorality, Lies, stupid lies. Our destiny has been taken away. Mm. So the destiny of this lady had built three, three story building into two places. But this is a girl that is wearing a cloth that you cannot even like to use to for rag. That was the kind of dress she wears as one of her bests. And her real destiny is somewhere prospering for a man and somebody somewhere. When I begin to ask her what happened, she began to talk to me. I said, that, who is he that told you in life that he want to marry you? He's going to get a car for you. If he marries you, he's going to relax and hand you over the business. He said, yes. So somebody want to hand you over the business for international business. He said, yes. Yes. He said, but when I refused. He said, I didn't like the man. The man was already a married man. I didn't like the man. And the man pleaded with me. He slept with me for, some, for her, with her for some time. And go, he has taken what he needed. He has taken the destiny. The girl went into suffering. I don't know where you have do dropped your destiny. I don't know where you have kept it. Remember, I was telling you the purposes of destiny killers. I told you, number one is to manipulate you, the person. Number two is to abort that destiny. Number three is to substitute the destiny. From there, you give it another number four. is to steal, okay? To terminate the destiny. May God help us. May God help us. Is to abort it, then to terminate it, to steal it. We see a lot of people how he came for Moses' destiny. He didn't walk the way God wanted it to be. He didn't end the way God wanted it to end. It was terminated. Today, I'm going to tell you point one. I've told you up to point five. Today, we'll get to point six. Contaminate. The one of purposes of the devil is to contaminate you. 
so that that which God has designed for you, that which God has said about you, will not come to pass. He just want to contaminate the person. The devil is a contaminator. He want to contaminate you with sin. He want to contaminate you with what will provoke God. He want to provoke you with what will make God to say, ah, no, 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 I'm not more interested in this one. That's exactly what the devil wants to do. Today we're going to see the way he contaminates people. People continue getting contaminated. Try. Let's see Genesis chapter 4 verse 8. 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 Okay? Genesis chapter 4 verse 8, the Bible said. Genesis chapter 4 verse 8. And Cain talked with Abel his brother. Remember, and Cain talked with his brother, uh, uh, his brother, Abel. Or Cain talked with Abel his brother. And it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. He get him contaminated. Blood has been seen in his hand. How many stains of blood have been seen in your hands? Maybe you are not the one that committed abortion or you committed abortion in those days. And then, or you got married, you don't want this baby again, you went into a, a, a committing abortion. Hmm. Contaminating. You are not the one that committed abortion, but you gave the advice. You told the person what he's going to do to do the abortion. Look at what happened in verse 9. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I knew not. Am I my brother's keeper? You see what Ken is asking God. If he is brother's keeper. If you are not your brother's keeper, then who will be your brother's keeper? Have you seen destiny destroyers? Ken or Abel was a destiny himself. He was destroyed. And now he said, am I, uh -huh, am I my brother's keeper? Look at verse 10. And he said, what has thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cries unto me from the ground. The voice of your brother is crying. People fed they keep people and go. The, blood, the voice of their blood is still crying. All these ones I'm telling you, soldiers are killing other people, like uh, uh, boys are killing, blah, 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 they keep people. How can you come? Sometimes when you wake up in this town, you get to one particular doctor, you see head of human being, sometimes two places, sometimes three places. People's head will be chopped off and kept in a place. The blood will ask for revenge. Lectures, what happened? And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cries unto me from the ground. And now, look at contamination has come in. Look at verse 11 of what contamination will cause. And now, are thou caused from the earth? You are caused. You are caused from the earth. And now, are thou caused from the earth? Which has opened a mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. You become a cosmos. When you're caught, when you're supposed to be up, you'll be down. When you're supposed to be prosperous, you become poor. When you're supposed to be intelligent, you, 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 you become dull. Because there is a cause. What have you done in those days? There are so many people that have done a lot of things. Instead of them to come out, have a genuine repentance, and then come to God and know God closely, they are gone and gone. They want to go into the ministry immediately. I know a lot of people that have been in... in, in in occultism. They have gone deep with the devil. They have made human sacrifice, killed a lot of human beings. The moment they go born again, they will give their testimony. Pastor will bring them on the altar and they begin to pray for people. They begin to give their testimony. It is wrong. It is wrong. It's wrong. Disciple the person very, very well. You know, the Church of Jesus have done everything except raising disciples. They have raised millionaires, people who have money. When there is a problem, they will run away, they will hide. They will run away, they will hide. That's the word the church of Jesus Christ produced. Instead of producing people that when there is trouble like this, they will go in and begin to seek the face of the Lord. They will go in and begin to pray and seek the face of the Lord. We're talking about destiny killers. Have you sat down and asked yourself a question? Who and who and what have I killed? What have I destroyed? Why am I stagnant in life? What is really happening to me? Who is targeting my destiny? Where is my destiny there is? Have my destiny been taken away? What have I done in my life as I have, to have buried my destiny? As I have to buried my destiny. There are people who are helping people to commit abortion. A lot of medical doctors who are helping young lady to commit abortion. Like there is one doctor like that. 
He was helping people to commit abortion. The moment the wife takes in, the wife will have miscarriage. The moment the wife takes in, the wife will have miscarriage. Blood was flowing in the wife, flowing in the wife. Until the Lord dealt with the doctor and said, as far as you live in committing abortion, you will never hear a cry of a baby. The doctor cried, cried, and repented and confessed his sins and asked God for mercy. He was the one that was destroying his destiny. He was the one that put himself in port and covered himself up there. And God showed him mercy. The moment he stopped that, when you stop that sin you're committing, the next is for God to intervene and to help you. The next is for God to intervene and show you mercy. The next is for God to intervene and show you a miracle. The next is for God to intervene and prove himself a true and a living God for you. Child of God, what is really wrong? What is happening to you? Why are you doing all these things to yourself? Have you been contaminated? What does it mean to be contaminated? To contaminated means to be destroyed inside. The outside look fine. That lady, you see her elegant. Oh, this one is good for marriage. You bring her into the house. There will be no peace. She will not respect you. She will not be humble. She will not do anything. Look at that man. Oh, what a tall man. What a handsome man. I love him. This man is so good for marriage. You bring him into the house. You don't know as big as it is outside. He had been contaminated inside. He, he depends on the wife and the, what the wife is going to do. How can I get married and depend on my wife? Yes, I can train her. I can give her education. That's why a lot of men kill their wife. They said, I, 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 I trained her in the school. I made her to be this. And don't depend on a woman's salary. Where she brings it is very okay. She will say, okay, this is what I'm making. So, so, so percentage will go for the family. Let me use that one to take care of myself. Get into such agreement. Don't depend on woman's salary. Majority of them don't have the same thought with others. There are ones that will have even the last one kobo, the last one penny, the last one cent. They'll bring it for the family. No, not all of them are like that. Some of them have a very bad friend that will influence them, very bad mother that will influence them, very bad people around. So men, some men, their wife will even bring the money and give to them, and their wife will never know any property they bought with that money. Their wife will not even know. They will even go around giving it to women and messing themselves up with the money the wife have made. That is why you should depend and say, God help me. I told my wife, you will be blessed and rich. I'll be blessed and rich, but you will not be bigger than me. You will not be greater. God have made me head over you. So I got to be the head of finance. Uh, you cannot be more spiritual than me. I got to be the head of spirituality too. Yeah, yet I'm more, I have to be the head of prayers too in the house. Man, don't only really claim to be head in giving authority. You must be head in providing for the family. You must be head in taking care of the family. You must be all on head. Contamination. As I'm driving home right now with my son, we stopped somewhere to buy something along the road. A lady was there, was looking at me, wanting to come and tell me, can you carry us? I was reading her, I was buying the bread, I was reading the lady. She made one step closer, made another step closer, removed her face, come closer again. I was just reading her. I asked her, where do you think you're going? She said, I'm going to Olo, I'm going to Olo. I said, where are you in Olo? She told me, I said, no, that place is no go area. I'm not passing through that area. That place is deadly. Can we go through the door? We say, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. I asked why were you not bold to tell me that? He said, I was afraid. Because all the vehicles say, are not going to Olo. I said, we're going there now. We're going there now. I said, are you born again? She told me, yes, I'm born again. I told her, I was encouraging her, encouraging her. I said, young lady, are you married? She was only smiling. I said, yes, I am married, sir. I am married. I said, wonderful. I said, how many children? He said, I don't have a child. I wanted to open my mouth and say, you have your children? A voice said, ask her, are you still with your husband? I said, are you still with your husband? He said, no. I said, when did you marry? He said, she married three years ago. I couldn't get far to ask her. I said, what do you want to do now? Do you want the man back? He said, no, 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 no. I don't want to marry that man again. I said, what do you want to do? You're born again? She said, yes, sir. I said, then what do you want to do? Do you want uh, to remarry? He said, yes, sir. That's what I'm planning to remarry. I said, you want to remarry? If you do that, you have destroyed yourself. A lot of people have contaminated themselves. There are little issues that could have been settled in marriage. And they have mind say that if I go, I will remarry. If I leave him, I will remarry. If I leave her, I will remarry. Not knowing that they have are contaminating themselves. When you leave your husband as a child of God, you leave your wife as a child of God, you are free to live your life if you don't want to get married again. But Bible said, those of you that are separated from the wife, be reconciled again. But for you to leave that man, for you to leave that woman, 
and go to another woman, begin to marry another woman. No, 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 no. The Bible said it is adultery that you want to come in. I say, young lady, I may talk to you. You may not like my speech. You may not like what I'm saying. But look at what I'm trying to tell you right now. God will help you. God will see you thoroughly true in every aspect if you can keep the standard of God. I said, let me say, you may be 30, 30 something years right now. I say, have another 50 or 60 or 70 years to live. Then their life will expire. It will end up. And then you will regret and you will suffer all these things in eternity. I don't know what is the level of your mind. I don't know what is the trouble of your mind. But I want to advise you and I want to tell you, you can shade it off. You can say, no, 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 no. I can do more than this. I can be above this. The great grace of God can talk to you. God can heal you. God can touch you. God can restore your marriage again. A lot of people have been contaminated. One day, a boy was selling a fried beans, which is called Accra. You know, here we call it Akara. Okay, she was, you know, she fried it and was selling it. He said, buy hot akara. Buy, people rushed to buy. It was really hot. But when you eat it, it is spoiled. That was what was done two, three days ago. And they were thinking, how can we throw this thing away? This thing has been contaminated already. And they are selling it to people. Where have you contaminated yourself? Where have you contaminated yourself? A lot of women have destroyed their destiny. Before they got married, they were sleeping around with married men. They were sleeping around with married men and they contaminated themselves. And by the time they realized themselves, some even born again. By the time they realize themselves, they are in their own marriage. They go and tell the man, please, 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 I, I, I can't do this thing again. I'm getting into marriage. Hey. And the man said, okay, I wish you good. And they go into the marriage. Without sorrow, without repentance. Look at how Cain was. I said, where is your brother? Instead of Cain to repent, instead of Cain to say, Lord, I'm very, very sorry. I've contaminated myself. I have put my hand in blood. I have killed. A young lady was in my office one day. I look at her and said, the Lord said, your husband is abroad, but you're living home in Nigeria here and you're messing up yourself. You are taking people to your matrimonial bed and sleeping with different men on your matrimonial bed. She looked at me and said, not only that, the Lord said, I should tell you, he's not happy with you. That you've been committing abortion, you've been throwing away blood. And the Lord said, I should tell you, you are not going to live till the end of next month. No, to the end of that month, the time she come was around 15th of that month. She told me, she no, 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 that she has a covenant of long life. You see how people will commit sin instead of them to be sorrowful about their sin. Instead of them to bow down and confess their sin and roll on the ground like Job did. And roll on the ground like David did. They will not want to do all this thing. They become stubborn. He told me, no, 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 no. God will not kill her that she is in covenant with the Lord. No, no, no. She's in covenant of long life. Yeah, you can be in covenant of the long, long life. God can tell you, yes, you have long life. But you can contaminate it. It can be contaminated. It could be destroyed. And then when it is destroyed, the covenant is broken. The covenant is broken. One woman of God like that, she was powerful. And not was pulling. When she did her hand, a lot of people fell. Healing. I mean, deliverance, healing. Anything was happening everywhere. But one day, she saw herself in eternity. She saw herself at the gate of heaven. The gate was locked up. And she saw some dangerous beast coming toward her. He was telling, she was telling the angel, open, open, open. This deadly beast after me. Open, open, open. Not knowing that the devil and his agent knew that he's not going anywhere. She was telling the angel, then they said, sorry, your name is not in the book of life. People whose name are not in the book of life cannot enter here. She told them, no, 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 no. She told them that Jesus manifested to her three times and told her he's going to use her. The angel told, asked her a question. The Lord said he's going to use you. The woman said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, he said, he said did the Lord promise to heaven? Did he tell you I will use you and I will allow you to come to heaven? Because the way the woman was painted, all her fingers painted, her mouth painted, all the chain, she wear things that will expose her chest, expose her armpit, like so many women call themselves powerful women of God. When they're on the pulpit, they are there only to seduce men. They are contaminating themselves and contaminating people. So many people have allowed their authors to be contaminated. You allow women who are wearing nonsense, who are wearing naked things, even men that are wearing less. The men that are wearing less with openness, you see what they are wearing inside, and some young lady will be viewing the inside. This man is handsome, old. this man is this and this. So, contamination. Stop contaminating yourself and don't let other you are saying get other people contaminated. When you eat contaminated food, what does it do to you? Contaminated food will destroy. Contaminated food will cause sickness, with a spiritual poison, is a food poison. When you eat this food poison, do you get okay? You don't get okay at all. You don't get, you don't get fine at all. So what are we trying to say, child of God? 
Don't contaminate yourself. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Ah, the woman didn't make it to eternity. Why? Because she contaminated herself. The question was this. The Lord said he's going to use you. Didn't he promise you eternity? Did he promise you heaven at last? So many people are fair there will be used of the Lord, but they never knew they have contaminated themselves. You saw the way Judas contaminated himself, and the appointment he had with heaven was rolled off. The name of Jesus was not mentioned as somebody that is going to say Jesus of Nazareth, but Judas like that saw himself. The Bible said he went out and saw Jesus of Nazareth and told him to handle him gently, not knowing that they are going to kill him that day. He thought that Jesus is going to perform another miracle, that Jesus will disappear. And then he will tell them, all I know is that the deal is done. Yet that he has disappeared. What is my own? This and this and that. But no, it was not like that. He was the one that Jesus fell into his hand. Jesus, the Bible said Judas went and hung himself and died. What, uh, why all these contaminations? Why all these contaminations? Uh, you're a born again child of God. Uh, you say you will not commit fornication. You say you will not commit immorality. You stay with that man. You stay with that woman. You will touch you. You will rob you. You will suck each other. Kiss each other. Do you become close? He said, have you committed this? Yes, you have committed it. Yes, you have committed it. Let's stop contaminating ourselves. Let's stop living in a very dirty environment, spiritually and physically. Do you know physically there are some environments you get into, the way it smells, the way it moves, eh, you can contaminate sickness there. Why is it that when you travel from one city to another city, you see yourself becoming sick as a result of acclimatization? As a result of acclimatization, you become sick because you're changing environment to another place. So child of God, Whenever you're a child of God, you get into sin, you're changing environment. Don't get yourself contaminated. Look at the cane of Abel. He contaminated himself. And what was his reward? The Lord told him. The Lord came, when thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond, thou shall thou be in the earth. A fugitive and a vagabond. A wanderer. A wanderer. So many people are fugitive today. So many people are wandering. They have lived in so many cities of the world. They couldn't make it. They have pastored a lot of churches. They couldn't make it. That is one like that. He has so pastored the church as a pastor. He told you he has pastored in this city, pastor in this city, pastor in this city. Do you know he eventually came home and bought a lot of things and went to a particular shrine and sacrificed this and sacrificed this and sacrificed this. And he was, how are you doing this, pastor? I said, he has been a pastor. The people he has started with, they have done this and done that, but nothing works for him. He went somewhere. A prophet told him to come and settle the gods of the land. He has come and given their due. He died. That what belongs to Caesar is given to Caesar. What belongs to Jesus gives to Jesus contamination, abomination. What do you mean by that? They asked Jesus, do we pay tax to Caesar? Jesus said, who's Face is there. Who said this? They said, Caesar, Caesar. And the Lord Jesus told them, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Jesus permitted us to pay tax, not to give powers to the devil, not to give gift to the devil, not to give gift to demon and power of darknesses and idols. That's not what the Lord has meant in that particular scripture. That scripture has been used to deceive a lot of people. Have you contaminated yourself in any way? How can you be a born again child of God? You go and marry an unbeliever. You have contaminated yourself. How can you do this when you tell lies you have contaminated yourself? A lot of this, when you come into sexual immorality, you have contaminated yourself. Can you come back to God and begin to say, Lord Jesus, all these contaminations, sir, I have done them in the past. I cannot do them anymore. All this contamination, help me, O oh Lord. So the devil wants you to get contaminated, to get expired inside. When somebody look at you, you get expired in child. Inside of you, you become expired. That's another purpose of the devil. That's another purpose of the powers of darknesses. You will not be you, you will not be contaminated in Jesus' name. In any way you have been contaminated, I begin to plead the blood of Jesus. I begin to plead the blood of Jesus. The destiny killers want to use that opportunity to get you contaminated. Like the gods in your father's house, the demon that were monitoring, somebody will continue serving that goddess. Somebody will continue serving that demon. And that demon will begin to come and fight everybody. And begin to fight everybody. And begin to fight everybody in the family. Look, let me tell you, the blood of Jesus cleanses you from all all unrighteousness. The blood of God cleansing you. That is when you know you're right as a child of God. The devil will come and talk to you and say, hey, what happened? 
the God of this world has come and found nothing in me. That's what Jesus of Nazareth said. You have a right to rebuke that power and say, in the name of Jesus Christ, all the demons that we are in all worship in my father's lineage, I break the cord. I break this cord right now. You are no more part of me and cannot be part of me. I don't know where you have been contaminated. I don't know where it has been exchanged. Another point again, which we're going to talk today, I think I've told you up to point six. Point six is contamination. 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 You see how this uh, uh, he became contaminated for the evil. He did. Oh, may the mighty hand of the Lord pause in Jesus' name. May the great grace of God pause in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of the Lord pause. See us truly true in every aspect that wherever we've been contaminated, the Lord renew us. The Lord renew us, revive all, and bring God back to ourselves again in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to be a new person, a new person inside, a new person in and out. That is why I'm telling you, you don't learn salvation. Salvation is a gift of the Lord. When it comes into your heart, you begin to change from inside to outside. No, some people learn only what it means. Don't wear just sleep. Uh -huh. uh, don't wear this, don't wear this, don't wear this. They learn it and say that that is the way of salvation. No, the way of salvation is that grace upon in you. You realize that you're a sinner and begin to cry for your sin and the grace dwells inside your inner mind and touch your spirit and touch your soul and then begin to expand to your body. That's what it means to be salvaged. Are you hearing me? You don't learn it. It is a gift of the Lord. It comes in you and become part of you. It comes to you and become your nature. It comes to you and become who God wants you to be. May God continue melting us. All these contaminations round about us. May the mighty end of the Lord help us. Every contamination in your life, may God show you mercy and let it be washed off and washed away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That is the purpose of destiny killer. He wants to come and contaminate you and get you contaminated. But God will not take that. God will not allow that to happen. The great grace of God will come upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to tell you point seven of, 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 of the destiny killers, what they mean in point seven. What do they mean in point seven is exchange. They come to exchange. That real thing you have, they want to take it from you and give you fake. The truth you have, the devil wants to take it away and give you fake. Like today, the devil has deceived the church of Jesus Christ and told the church there's no divine healing in Christ again. Go to hospital, go to hospital. There are people, even when they're sick, when you want to pray for them, they say, no problem. Uh, no problem, I will be all right. They will go to hospital. Uh, it's not sin to go to hospital, but there's an extent it to get to, a hospital cannot heal again. And then they will resort back to prayers again. The holiness has been taken away from God and they've given to it riotiness. And then praying and fasting have been exchanged with bad day. Today is my bad day. You cook your own today. Tomorrow is another person's bad day. He cook. Why have all this bad day, bad day, bad day has not been there? The devil wants to use it as event of the last day. You are celebrating yourself. You are telling yourself you have arrived. I am doing my ministry. We are doing 15 years anniversary. 15 years anniversary. 30 years anniversary. That means you are saying, oh, you look backwards. You look forward and say, I have tried. You want to praise yourself. If nobody to praise me, I to praise myself. Maybe you have 10,000 members, 50,000 members. Members, when there are millions and millions and millions of souls, billions of souls that are going astray in the midst of battlefield, you begin to dance. In the midst of bullet running up and down, you use your member as a protection. Your members will be far around about you in hundreds and be around about you and you'll be in the bedroom being celebrated and bullet will be killing them. Wolf will be coming to carry them one by one. Instead of you to pray for them, look after them, fast, give them direction. You are in the midst of celebration. If you finish celebrating now, what will you be doing when we get to heaven? In the battlefield, you are celebrating. Brother, sister, in the battlefield, you are celebrating. What are you celebrating? It's not time to celebrate yet. Don't glory yet. You may think your name is in the book of life. There are a lot of people, their name is not in the book of life at all. We are still marching on. We should keep on asking for grace. We should keep on asking God for mercy. A lot of many men of God, today, they want to say it. My bad day is coming on so, 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 so day. Prepare your gift. Oh, I am saying it in advance. So this and this and that. What do we gain from all this thing? We want to get, get gift from people. So that anybody that doesn't give you gift, they might not be in good time. They might not be in good mood to do that for you. You become annoyed with them. Hey, the devil came for exchange. Have you seen your prayer life? Has it not been exchanged? The joy you have, has it not been exchanged? 
He takes what you have and gives you what he has. The devil has the fake, you have the original. And the devil has the, you have the real thing that they have, the devil have the imitation. He wants to take it from you and give it to his people. And you go ahead with false doctrine. Why are so many men of God, women of God, people teaching falsely? Because the devil will tell them, you are the holiest man of God on earth. You are most powerful. You are most this and most that. When I begin to see people adver advertising men of God in anointing, he is the highest so far. Uh, as far as uh, getting what is concerned. Do you know the yardstick? Are you the one that been calling people? Why are you messing up? Why are you taking the position of God? Who told you to be that judge? As far as I know, somebody was talking about a particular man of God and saying the whole Nigeria, he is the highest. Che! Che! We are stupidities wearing dress and walking in the road and hugging foolishness. What do you think that will happen? We are stupidity to hug foolishness. What do you think that will happen? May we repent. May we remove our eyes from G.O., G.S. and look unto Jesus, daughter and finisher of our faith. That G.O. you are talking, majority of them are no more with the Lord. The Lord was giving me and telling me the name of so many men of God, mighty men, you bow down for the Lord said, they are no more with me. They are now on their own. They are forming their own kingdom. Say, in the book of Genesis chapter 25 verse 30, the devil came for exchange. Genesis chapter 25 verse 30. Genesis chapter 25 verse 30. And this was Genesis chapter 25 verse 30. Genesis chapter 25 verse 30. Okay? And this was said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red porridge. For I am faint, thereof was his name called Edom. And Jacob said, Send me this day the birthright. And this was said, Behold, I am at the point of death. And what profit shall this but they do, but right do to me. And Jacob says, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him. And he sold his bat right unto Jacob. Che! He swore it, he sold it unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and porridge of lentil. And he did eat and drank and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his bat right. Che! He thought it is not like that. So many people have sworn. Hey, I'm not the one that do this. If I'm the one that do this, let me die. Che! The devil will come and take that life. Did you see Rebecca? Uh, did you see uh, 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 Rebecca contaminated his son Jacob by telling him lies of what to do? But let's look down again. Let's look down again. Look at the second wife. By then they were permitted to marry more than one. Not to the so that men, men will not say, it's in the Bible. The second wife of Jacob. That was not the lady she served for seven years. Another was given to her. She said, no. No, I have an angel of my heart. I have a woman that makes me to be a man. I have a woman that when I remember her, gladness, peace, and joy is all over me. And that is my wife. Even when the father came and was looking, she swore falsely, I'm not the one that hold it. If I'm the one that hold it, let me die. Do you know sometimes shame? What people will say, our what we fear that we are, personality, have made us to swear falsely. And instead of us to go and do restitution, instead of us to go back to God and cry, instead of us to go to God in tears, we convince them that we have told lies. And then we have contaminated ourselves. Look at what happened here. He told him, give me that I may eat. He sold his battery. He exchanged it. I'm supposed to be the first son. But what happened? He sold it to his brother. That's exactly what the devil came to do. Exchange. With a, 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 a porridge. Plate of porridge. He exchanged his birthright. Give it to me. I am hungry. I need it. And he gave it to him. He ate. Thinking he will have it again. That is why, by the time he was to deceive him, he went to the father and said, I am this. The father didn't go into much question and said, are you sure? Are you sure? The father, the father said, um, the body is the body of his son. Uh, but what I'm, the voice I'm hearing is the voice of Jacob. <laughs> it's the voice of Jacob. <laughs> he couldn't go further. To make more inquiry. He said, okay, never let. Why? Because this guy has already sold you. What have you given to the devil? What have you given to the devil? There's one man that said, 
for so many years. He married for 35 years or getting to 40 years. He was old, the wife was old. He later said, hey, that when he was young, he was after women so much. And he promised himself and told himself, I am not, that he's not marrying for child. That he's marrying to reduce sexual immorality. Now that was why he married. He never had a child from that woman. Oh my God. What have you exchanged? What has been taken to you? Do you remember in those days you have great peace? The destiny killer came and said, if this person continues having peace, he will get divine revelation from God. But when you have a peaceful mind, is the time God will give you divine revelation more and more. You will do far for God. The devil doesn't like you to have peace of mind. The devil will say no. He has changed your peace of mind. Do you know that before all this provocation was not in your life? They were not there. But what is happening today? Smarting provokes you. Smarting provokes you. Smarting provokes you. Till when? With this type of life. Continue in your life. Till when will this type of life be your portion? Is it not time to sit down and say, Oh God, what have I exchanged to the devil? The time you have exchanged your time with the devil and the phone. The time you used to have for God and with God and pray and seek the face of the Lord and pass. Today is no more like that. Today, it's not happening again. You have done exchange. You have done exchange. The destiny killer has come. He knows that when you don't have peace of mind, you will not live long. There are people that when they don't have peace, they fed their peace of God. They don't have not been smoking. They last cigarette. What does smoke have to do with your heart? It's just a habit. Exchange. What have you exchanged with the favor of the Lord? What have you exchanged with the goodness of the Lord? What have you exchanged with the dignity and power and what the Lord has given to you? What have you exchanged? Put it. Destiny killers are bad and dangerous. It's a time for you to rise and say, Oh God, anything I have exchanged, Oh God, anything. Sometimes you say, Devil, I bind you at this. When you're having this property, when you have done a lot of exchange on you. He has done a lot of exchange on you. When he has reduced you in the spiritual realm. Ha! Oh God, what have I exchanged? Many of us with our mouth have exchanged. With your mouth, you have exchanged even your children. By cursing them, speaking evil of them, it shall not be well with you. You are stupid. You are a fool. Some men, women will call their children, or men will even call their children. You are a thief in this house. You are a vagabond. One woman was telling the child that he is telling the child that the child will be a slave forever. That the child is going to be carrying food in the hand like this for his mates to eat. What a cause. What a cause. A lot of people have released. Exchange. Can you bring back the family again and pray? Can the man of the house pray for the wife and the man of the house hold the hand with the wife and pray for the children and say so we restore you back? We bring you back. Any word I've spoken, anything we have done on you, any opportunity we have given the devil to exchange this for destiny killers to come. No, it will not happen again. The wife has the right, the husband has the right to redeem the wife. Before I got you married, wherever they have taken you to, any power force influence, I redeem you. I bring you back. There are a lot of men that have done that. Their wife have been handed to water spirit. Their wife have been handed to many devil and demon. But when they get married to them, they stand upon the word of God. They release them. Deliver them. The wife is doing wonderful today. Wonderfully today. And they are loving the wife. The man, you have the right to go to the word of God. After discovering what your family is like, you stand upon the word of God and begin to make a decree and it shall come to pass. Destiny killers. The destiny killers that have been killing people will not kill you. God will show you favor. God will show you mercy. And his name will be glorified forever. A lot of destiny have been tampered with through wickedness. A man traveled abroad. I told this thing some time ago, but let me repeat it. A man traveled abroad and read geology. In those days, in those early days, in the 70s, he came back to Nigeria after reading geology for so many years. There were about three of them like that that read geology in Nigeria. So when this man came to Nigeria, 
He stayed and stayed and stayed. When he wanted to go, the day that was appointed, the man packed his bag, baggages, everything. They said, let them bring Taizi. That's going to take him to Enugu Airport. From Enugu Airport, he will travel to Lagos Airport. From there, get back to the United States. So, they went and brought the vehicle. The man was happy. And they put his boots in the, boots in the boots. Put everything there. And the man was happy. He was smiling. All of a sudden, ha. Ah, the man put one of his legs in the vehicle and said, No! They thought he forgot something. The man said, No, 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 no. Where am I going? Going to the United States of America where there's no time, where I'll be running, go from one appointment to another appointment. Don't you see how I am in Africa eating, eating roasted corn, eating roasted yam, eating with palm red, uh, red palm oil, eating with a pound dark egushi, uh -huh, melon. Which you call ugri. Don't you see what I'm enjoying? Oh, when you get pan front, you put them in the raw fire, prepare them, and eat them raw. Oh, come on. I, I, look at the moonlight. When it come, we enjoy the moonlight. No, no, no. What do you want me to do? To go right now and do this? No, no, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm not traveling abroad again. I've got to stay at home. They fragilize the man. For what the man say, I'm a man, you know. I'm a man, right? You don't need to do that to me. I'm a man. Uh -huh. You don't need to do that to me. And they went, they worried, the time left, the time was over. After days, weeks, the man said, it's not going anywhere. And the man was there. His destiny has been tampered with. He has been thought something wrong has come upon his brain. His eyes have been blinded. His future has been arrived. I don't know who is dealing with you. There's one problem with children of God. When you do liberation for them and make a decree according to the word of the Lord, they continue remembering the past. Why are you dwelling in the past? In your vehicle, there's a very big wind glass where you look through. Is it not true? You windshield, the big one. And there's a small mirror that you used to see the back. Why are you, if you want to go 10 kilos and you're looking at that small mirror that is showing you the back, can you make a headway? You have accident, you crash somewhere. Remove your eyes from the past and say, yes, I believe the word of God. The prayer has been made for me. Ah, sometimes ah, what they did against me was stronger. You know, when I was a child, nah, they took me this place. My father was there, my mother was there. You are, Jesus is bigger than what your mother has done. Jesus is bigger than what your father has done. A change has been done. You only remember what the devil took from you. You don't remember what Jesus has taken away from the devil and give you victory. What Jesus has taken away from you and renewed you and brought you back to life. The man was there moving with his walking stick, speaking a Binto language. You want to be there. You're going to go there. We want to go there right now. We're going to teach them a lesson of their life. Whenever you come to the village, you know this man has a different asset altogether. And what happened one day? A crusade was in that area and prayer was going on. And the man of God looked at the man and said, Ah, mmm, mmm. God is telling me something about you. Can I pray with you, sir? The man said, yeah, 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 you can pray. I will have mercy on whom I have mercy. God has an appointed time of all your sorrow. God has an appointed time of all your pain. God has an appointed time of deliverance for you. Can you continue with the Lord? Don't say, no, Lord, I cannot continue. Some people have sought the God and said, God, you cannot heal. You cannot deliver. You are nothing, nothing. When your time has not come, your miracle will not happen. But when your time comes, your miracle will happen. Why are you losing hope in the Lord? Keep faith in God. Keep confidence in the Lord. He is able to do all things. My goodness. And when the man knelt down, he was being prayed for. Prayed for. It's like the man was vibrating and the, uh, one of the father's wives started shouting. Started shouting. Fire all over me. Prayer was going on for the man. And the man, woman was shouting, fire all over me, fire all over me from her apartment, fire all over. They went there, the woman said, bring ladder, bring ladder, bring ladder, bring ladder, bring ladder, bring ladder. And they rushed immediately and brought up a ladder. And the woman climbed somewhere at the backyard into the mud uh, attached house ceiling. She brought out a pot. And the, the moment she hit the pot on the ground, the man did like this. Ah! What happened? The man came to his senses. The man came to his understanding. The man said, what has happened to me? Eh? Oh, what am I doing there? Why am I tattered? Why am I dirty? No, what am I doing there? I'm supposed to be in US right now. 
Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The man rushed in, took his bag, was packing, and the, the man said, no, 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 no. I don't want to miss my flight. I don't want to miss my flight. I don't want to miss my flight. I mean, his life has been dealt with. Oh my God. Oh, his life has been exchanged. His life has been exchanged. He came back to his senses and started exactly where he stopped. What did he stop when the brain had not been exchanged? When the life had not been exchanged, he wanted to make a trip to US. The man said, when he was packing his good, they told him, Sir, you missed this ticket. You missed your flight seven years ago. Not even seven months ago. Not even three years ago. You missed it seven years ago. The man said, Oh. And they were asking the wife of the father, Why did you do this? The rapper the man gave her when she came back and the money the man gave her, they were wrapped together and kept in that place. Let me tell you. So don't say, I will not be giving people so that they don't do this. No! You have authority. Me never I'm giving people 10, I will take them and say, any man, any woman that is going to use this thing to do anything, any money he will get, that his children to 10 generations is sent over to me. Try it. I tell them, try it and see. I must keep giving. I must be giving. You cannot tamper with it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My yeah, 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 yeah. The man came to his senses. I decree for you now. If you type a man, let God of heaven hear you. If you type a man, let your miracle begin. Anywhere your miracle has been exchanged. Anywhere your favor has been exchanged, be restored now. Every action that has been done in your life, with your concern, without your concern, let it be restored now. Let every exchange done against you, every exchange that is hurting you, every exchange right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, I restore. Receive restoration. 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 Receive! That man that said, that power that said, you will never have, have peace in your marriage, that you're not going to enjoy your husband, that you're not going to enjoy your wife, you will not enjoy your children, be broken by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. And that man came to his senses, may you come back to your senses, may you come back to your life, let there be mighty peace, mighty glory of the Lord, the fire born and devour them. The fire born and show them pepe pe pe in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible said that since the death of John, the Bible the kingdom of a violent and men and women of violent take it by force in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the Living God. We take them by force, your deliverance by force, your miracle by force, everything run about by force in Jesus' name. Masara Makunda Rabakuda, Memeya Yabrahinda Rabakuda, da da da. Every exchange that was done in your name, sometimes they will take an animal, they will carve a stick and, and call it your name. No, anywhere they carve a stick or any animal they tie and call your name, I release you from there. You cannot be that animal, you cannot be that sticker, you cannot be that idol. Anywhere your name has been gone to any idol, in the name of Jesus, let fire burn there. Let fire devastate and destroy. And let the name of Christ be glorified. For unto the Lord be all the glory. For unto the Lord be all the worship. For unto the Lord be all the dominion. For unto the Lord be all the adoration. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We're going to continue with other points. We're able to stop in point seven today. Oh my God. Exchange. 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 Mashara Makunda. Can you begin to pray wherever you are? What have I exchanged to the devil? In the name of lies, in the name of fear, in the name of fornication, in the name of abortion, in the name of lust, what have I exchanged? Lord, I came back to my senses. Sir. It's true that Esau has no time to beg because he never got born again. He never repented. He never came to himself. Rather, he was increasing in unrighteousness and the whole thing was upon his head. But can you tell God, I have made that mistake. I have made that mistake. I have made that mistake already. Lord God Almighty, I have made that mistake. In the name of Jesus, I will not continue in that mistake anymore. Now that I have realized that who the greatest man is the man who lived to right his wrongs. Every wrong you have done, you can right them now. Do you know the more you continue being annoyed with that man, with that woman, the more you are contaminating yourself, the more the anger in you get you more contaminated, get you more swollen into evil, into demon, into devil, into righteousness. Don't you know that? That man you are annoyed with, that woman you are annoyed with, that boy that girl you are annoyed with, is not even know that somebody like you is dying. Why not open up your heart and say, Lord, as every exchange I have done, 
Even the one I have done with my mouth. There are people that say this thing will not happen. Over my dead body will this thing happen. God will say it will not happen. Now so that you are not going to die. Can you revise them and say what I have spoken with my mouth. Over my dead body is a bad spiritual grammar. It's a bad English. Over my dead body. The trumpet body went to a man of God. And the man of God was saying I take this. And he said man of God. Over my dead body will you take this land. It will not happen. The man of God said over your dead land. And these are men of God that are too radical. They said you said over your dead body. Amen. And within some time the man died. The man of God went and took over that place. Because he said over his dead body. I don't know which language you have used against yourself. I don't know how many times you have spoken against yourself, get yourself contaminated, becoming annoyed and angry, and allow the devil to get one thing or the other exchange in your life. That child you hurt can be great. Come on, no matter how wide your child is, with love, continue with the love. Don't be tired of that child. You're going to give a, 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 a account of that child in eternity. Your child is so wide, has gone astray, is smoking, is drinking, is falling into gutter, have divorced the husband or have divorced the wife. Don't lose hope. Continue loving that child. God knew why such a child came from your womb. God knew why such a child came from your lawn. That your brother, you are tired of, you are all quarreling. But I tell you, there could be restoration. There could be visitation. God of mercy can show you mercy. God of love can show you love again. Goodness can come again. Peace can come again. Joy of the Lord can come up again in that peace, in that family. Your family is so shattered, broken. There is no peace. The Prince of Peace is still alive. The Prince of Peace can still bring peace in that family. Can still bring peace in that marriage. There can be restoration. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Can you say everything I have exchanged? I am right now taking back the right one. Every lie, every anger, every hatred be gone. I take the good out of it. You can still do good again. Jesus is walking around. Bible says how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with Holy Ghost and power. He went about doing good. Healing the all that were oppressed. You can go about doing good. And Christ's name will be glorified in you. Now and forevermore. In Jesus' wonderful name I decree. Hallelujah. It is well. It is well. Child of God, it is well. Can you begin to pray now? Oh God, we thank you. We give you praise. We worship you. We adore you. We adore you. We glorify you. We praise you. We magnify you. We worship you, Lord. Yes, you may say we started a little bit. Yeah, we started a little bit late. We traveled. But thank God we are back and God help us to meet up to the time we came in. Don't forgive us for that. The time we wasted. We are very sorry about that. We started around 10 past uh, 7. We are very sorry about that. God bless you as you forgive us. God bless you as you heed to this world. God bless you as you realize your mistake and confess them before the Lord. God bless you as you confess your mistake to appropriate quarters. Destiny killers will no more exchange anything. Can you begin to decree that destiny killers from today onward? You will never. The one you have taken, I restore. I will draw them from you. You will never forever in my life exchange anything with me again. You have tricked me in those days. You cannot trick me anymore. For God must show me mercy. For God must show me love. For God must show me deep on understanding and the name of Christ must be glorified in me. Hallelujah. Can you begin to pray? Can you begin to say, Lord, I thank you for your word. Lord, I bless you for your word. We bless you, Lord, you are holy and forever you are God and forever you are God. I bless you, Lord, you are holy. Holy Lord, I'm forever you are God. There's somebody that is watching me. The Lord said, don't be hopeless. The Lord said, today I give you new hope. The Lord said, I give you new peace and I give you new joy. He said, your desire has is room that it is washed away. The Lord said, I will make all things new again. There will be a new beginning for you, child of God. The Lord said, I should tell you, there is hope for you. The Lord said, don't lose hope. Have confidence in me. I am the Lord who can do all things are new. Oh, come on. God wants to do something new in the life of somebody. Please, as it is done in your life, remind me. Tell me the testimony. I'll be part of the testimony. I'll share it with you. I'll be happy. Somebody, the Lord said, he wants to do a new thing in your life. A new beginning. A new page is being opened upon your life. Receive the new beginning now. That person, receive the new beginning now. 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 Let that new page be opened in your life. Open Open in your spirit, open in your soul, open in your body, open in your family. Let there be a new beginning. As the mightiness of the Lord walk in and Christ is glorified. For unto the Lord our King, our God, be our glory forever. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Yes, you receive it. Receive! It is your portion. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. Yes, you receive it. It is your portion. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. 
Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, Jesus. I love you all. I feel like continue with you, but because of our timing, I bless you. Thank you for sharing this message. Thank you so much for being a lover of Jesus Christ. You will never miss your reward. Come on. That day, the Lord Jesus will dance with you in heaven. will put a smile on you. Receive it. Yes, he said you receive it. You receive it. It's your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And there will be dancing. There will be joy. There will be peace. There will be that greatness of the Lord that day. Continue with holiness. Continue with righteousness. You have nothing to regret. For this God is worthy. He knows how to reward you. Don't be discouraged. Go ahead. You see greater peace. Sunday, by the hands of this God. God will keep you and bless you forevermore. Amen. It is well with you. I bless the name of the Lord for your sake. Jesus be magnified and glorified in Jesus' name. I begin to pray for you right now by the mighty name of the Lord. As you're receiving it, let it be your portion. As you're receiving it, let it be your portion. As you're receiving it, let it be your portion. As you're receiving it, let it be your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can you say after me, say, Lord Jesus, say anything the devil has taken away from me, any exchange I have done in my life, known and unknown, I change them today. The one I spoke with my mouth, with my life, with my behavior, I exchange them today. Any handwriting that had been against me, I, re I rewrite them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Any contamination in my body, I say no to that today in the mighty name of Jesus. From today, the King of kings, God of God, and Lord of Lords walk into you. Jesus makes you whole. The Lord forgive you. Say, Lord Jesus, as you want to receive him, I'm sorry I am a sinner. Forgive me every sin. I receive you today in my life as my Lord and Savior. Show me your favor and grace, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord forgive you. Cleanse you every sin and give you grace to be a child of God. Now and forevermore, in the name of Jesus. Receive peace and joy. Receive new beginning. Receive mercy and glory of the Lord. Let it be all over you. And let Christ be glorified. I release those things the devil took away from you. I release them back to you. Those contaminations, you are cleansing from them. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse you from every contamination. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse you from every contamination. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse you from every contamination in the name of Jesus. Thank you for everything you've done. Hallowed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Peace of the Lord be with you. Mission and glory of the Lord upon your life. In Jesus' name we pray. We've got to be here again. Today is what? Wednesday. Okay, today is Wednesday. By Sunday morning, we're going to preach again. 9 a.m. Nigerian time. Yes, you take over your right. I like that confession. You take over your life. Your rights. Yes. Come on. Arise and say, I take them over. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. My sister Rose, you said you take Ayakule. You said you take Michael. You said, okay. Alusa Law, you said hallelujah, you are set free. I believe that. I, come on, you are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. I love that. I love that. I love that. You are set free. You are made whole. In the name of Jesus, you take over your right. Amen and amen and amen and amen and amen and amen. Jesus Christ is Lord. Thank you so much. We've got to see on Sunday. And by Monday and Wednesday, we'll continue with this teaching. I hope you're enjoying this teaching. I hope your eyes is being opened on it. God bless you. For those of you that's going to make trip within this week, may the Lord lead you through. Are you going through the land? The Lord lead you through. Are you flying in the air? The Lord will lead you through. Wherever you're going and what you're going for will be a success. What you're going for will be a success. In the name of Jesus, the miracle for you remaining of this month will come to pass. People will favor you now that your destiny has come back. God Almighty set you free. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you so much for saying it's a great teaching. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Till we meet again.